All right, we're here on my desktop, and I wanted to show you a couple things before we start doing the add-ons in-game. First things first is Minion Add-on Installer. Basically, this makes it really PUD to install, uninstall, and kind of tune all your add-ons. It's Minion Beta, and as you can see, I just have tons of add-ons. A lot of them I don't use in-game, but I've tried out. So this is what you need to get first. So let's show you how to do that. Open up an internet browser, whatever you're using. We can go to Chrome or whatever and just type in Minion Add-on. And it'll come up. Then you download the free version right here. Note, this is a Windows uh, 7 and 8 64-bit. I had a 32-bit operating system previously and tried to use it and it screwed up. So make sure you're using the right system. And if you don't know how to do that, you just basically go into your computer, right-click it, properties, and it should tell you right here, 64-bit operating system. So make sure you have the right operating system, download whatever client you want, and this will pop up. So this is Minion. I love this. It really it makes it just super easy to install and uninstall add-ons. Um, basically, this will show you, it'll search for game first, or you can add game and tell it which folder to come in, but almost always it's going to find Elder Scrolls Online. You go to Find More. The best kind of way to start out is go by Downloads and see what the really popular ones. Almost every single popular one I have uh, to start. So you just kind of scroll through. Sky Shards, the most popular one, is a must to find skill points in the game. And it kind of shows you, gives you a little description with a couple of pictures and that sort of thing. So that's part one. Download Minion, get it installed, put it on your computer, try it out, search for some mods. Now let's go in game and see how this works. Alright, we're in game here with my favorite character. His name is Add-on Guide, the Orc Nightblade. Okay, that's a joke. But really, I created this guy to just kind of show you what the default setup looks like for Elder Scrolls Online. There's not a lot of information. If you're a hardcore Elder Scrolls fan, that's probably good for you. But if you're an MMOer like me, you want more information. The more, the better. So I'm going to kind of show you the add-ons that I use to get a lot of information that's necessary to do, kind of level, progress, and then end game type thing. First things first. If you go to Settings, Add-ons. The first time you're in here, you're going to have a bunch of stuff turned on and off. You need to allow out-of-date add-ons. Make sure you have that checked. That will determine if you can use some of these add-ons. While I'm leveling, I think there's a few quintessential add-ons you need. Undiscovered, Lord Blook, and Sky Shark. Okay, let's see what this does. Hit Reload UI. So as you can see, not a whole lot as far as the way I look around. But if you hit map, whoa, a lot's changed. Basically what this does is tells you where the lore books, the sky shards, and all the quest markers, the quest hubs, Munda stones, way shrines, everything in the map that you need to know about questing or doing stuff. It's going to all be here. So undiscovered, sky shard, lore book. Some people don't like this because it you know, tells you where to go. For me, I'm leveling my fifth character. I just want to get through it, so this kind of helps me do that. And another really helpful add-on that I couldn't live without is ZR Minimap. So instead of clicking my map every five seconds, it pulls up a mini-map there in the bottom right corner that shows me all the sorts of things that I need to know. For instance, what's this big glowy purple thing? Oh, it's a lore book. I would need lore books because it levels up your mages guild. Very, very important later on. So those are the three, four mods and add-ons that I use to start off the game. Let's look at some other ones. Alchemist, this is great for your alchemy character, but not so much for every other character. Auto-invite is mainly for PvP, so if you type a string of code, you can automatically invite. Grey Mind is awesome for hardcore endgame content. What it does is allows you to have quick bar slots, hot keys, so you can swap back to potions you need to use. Azura I don't use too much, but it's kind of a customizable UI. And then getting to my favorite developer, Wicked. Let's turn these on. Framework, Full Immersion, Outfitter. Whoa, notice my bars have changed on the bottom there. So let's kind of see what's going on here. 
first things first, I like to change my interface to always have my skill bar on, my ability bar on. And then Wicked's bar turns those three, the health, the magicka, and the stamina right there over my health, over my ability, excuse me. I like that because then I can always see what's going on. Once you've turned on the add-on, to be able to customize it, we'll go in the add-on settings or right down here. So if we look at Wicked's full immersion. This enables hideables. So if you don't want to have your quest marker on because you just want to be fully immersed, you can turn it on or off through this mod. Wicked settings. This is awesome. I couldn't live without this. It has everything from auto sheath, range finder, gold, enable loot. This is what turns those three bars on right here. The player HUD. I have to have that on. I love it. And this turns on the bar on the top. What does that tell me? Everything. Time, frames, where I'm at, how much gold I have, what's in my bags, everything. And then we're crafting research timers. I think this is a must-have. Now, I don't usually have this on during my videos because it's, I want everything to be clean and look good. But look how customizable this is. And even a subtitle thing. That's incredible. So great work over at Wicked. Doesn't end there with Wicked. He's created an outfitter. So basically, as you progress throughout the game, Elder Scrolls Online allows you to do anything. So you can do tanking and healing and whatever. This allows you to kind of have two setups simultaneously. So if I have all the gear in my inventory here, and I want to, I don't know, really crappy outfit, I save it, whatever I'm wearing, then I hit equip whenever I want. Let's say I have a second outfit. Maybe that's a crappy DPS set. I got it saved, hit equip. Boom, it does it already for me. So that can save you basically coming in your inventory and clicking on this and that and the other thing to make sure it's the right outfit. One step further is Wicked's Outfitter also does skills. So you can make it so that your tank healing set, you can swap with one click. Even better, if you go into the settings, Controls, keybinds, you scroll way down here. Wicked's Framework Macro Window, what's that do? Bang, brings this up. If you're really hardcore, you can edit this macro to basically equip a certain set of gear, a certain set of skills. You could even do add-ons. I mean, you can emote whatever you want. And then when you click that button, you can physically click it or you can keybind this button too. So you could literally have a tank set with all your skills, with one click of a button. That's how good this mod is. Gotta have it. So those are kind of Wicked's add-ons that I use that I couldn't live without. Dustman's is really good. It's basically an inventory management system that if you want to sell whites and you're not wanting to keep everything for craft, it just lets you do that. Research Grid, it's for the crafters out there. I like it. Sous Chef's for provisioners. The next one I really like is Foundry Tactical Combat, commonly referred to as FTC. Let's hit that. By default, not much has changed. But let's go in and start, let's go outside and hit something, see what happens. Now look what happened. So I got the things on the left is my damage that I'm taking. The damage that I'm doing, excuse me, and on the right is how the damage I'm taking. Oh, die! Woot! Heroic victory for add-on guide. Let's go in and kind of show you what the nuts and bolts of this look like. You hit your settings key, FTC. By default, then frames are enabled. I'll show you what that looks like. I use Wicked's frames, so I don't like that. But if you wanted a three-bar setup, you could have that. And every time you click it on and off, it has to reload UI. So it tracks your long buffs from Cyrodiil. Yeah, or also your buffs, like your dots and hots. Damage statistics... So the damage you do is going to come up here. The damage you're taking is going to come up here by default, and then some notifications. It also tracks your ultimate, so it'll be a big, huge pop-up when your ultimate's ready. These are the default 
uh, target frames, which I just keep on. Anchor buffs, I keep that on. I change this to a line. Um, just display abilities names. I do like that to see how hard things are hitting. Lock and position. This is kind of where you can change your status alerts to be like right over if you if you like, or your incoming damage to be right over you. I like them kind of out here, so I can still see what's going on. And so that's going to be really important later on when you're trying to do, you know, bleeding edge content, having something that kind of shows you the damage coming in, coming out, and it's going to help you prepare your character for endgame. It really will. So I recommend FTC highly. Cloud Combat is really good. I've tried both. Die! But FTC just seems more reliable for me, though Cloud Combat can be way more customizable. So we'll see with this next upcoming patch what I'm going to be using permanently. Back to the add-ons. Some other helpful ones. Soft cap, weapon charge, inventory borders, inventory grid. Let's turn those on. Just some use of, you know, quality of life things. Go in your inventory. Notice I have a white border around this. That's kind of helpful when you're mid-maxing your gear to kind of see where everything's at. And then inventory barter, let me show it. Oh, marks it as junk. Unmark as junk. I have it turned on to sell all lights, that's why. So by default, your inventory is set up like this. But if you turn this toggle inventory viewer on, then you can kind of see the whole big picture. And it's going to have uh, the color of the item too. I like that because then I can go through get stuff I really want and if I don't like it I can just turn it back with one click so that's what works for me so these are most of the add-ons that I use um, there's a million out there really race hacker is great for if you're a guild master and you basically have people putting one item in at a time it'll resack it all for you at the click of a button soft cap info if you're a mid-maxer like me, you got to know what numbers you want to hit, and that's going to show you how to do that through there. Usually it just comes up as 140 Magicka, but this lets you see kind of where you're at and how to change it. So you don't want to use, you don't want to go into diminishing returns with stats. That's what helps you do that. But those are some of the add-ons that I use. I have been getting a lot of requests to kind of go over this, and so hopefully this was helpful. Tell me what add-ons you guys use and if there's any that I'm missing or any settings that, you know, we should be changing because I've learned so much from this community. Um, and if there's something else that comes out you guys want me to make a video on, I'll be happy to do it. So this is my add-on guide. Thanks for watching.